don't make me laugh like this, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I really was gonna die. <laughs> All right, guys, it is Sunday afternoon. Honestly, it's like late, late Sunday afternoon. I just haven't really gotten it together today. I started feeling so bad after dinner last night. I really feel like, you know, everything I vlogged yesterday, I was kind of like riding the high of the good news that we got. And I don't know, it just made me feel so much better. And after dinner, I just like crashed completely. I fell asleep super, super early. And before that, I just started feeling awful. Um, and like the pressure and the pain got so much worse. And that is definitely really worrying. But at the same time, the doctor did warn me that with hyperstimulation, it can get progressively worse throughout the day. And by the evening, you feel the worst you're gonna feel the whole day. But I do also feel like, I mean, I've just been so out of it this whole day i think maybe i'm not sleeping very well because of it i mean there's no way i am sleeping well and i woke up really really early because i went to bed really early and i don't know i just haven't done much of anything just a few things around the house and just kind of didn't have it in me to pick up the camera i finally put on a little powder and mascara and eyebrows and i used that as my motivation to go ahead and pick up the camera and talk to you guys definitely not feeling good not feeling as good as i was yesterday morning after that great news um it's crazy how that can just transform everything i mean it's not crazy it makes perfect sense um but it's just that completely transformed everything yesterday for more than a few hours and then i crashed but i got a package from amazon this afternoon and i was like oh i can talk to them about this and then i realized i have three Kind of odd like random things that i've gotten from amazon over the past week some of these things relate back to conversations we've had in other vlogs or on my story on instagram also i have just been like completely absent on social media altogether almost since wednesday and i feel so bad because i feel like in my last vlog i was saying like oh follow my Instagram story. That's where you can get the most up-to-date, real-time updates for me. Like that's my social media, I update the most. And I feel bad because then I said that and then I completely dropped off. But it's just, I haven't had it in me. But at the same time, you know, I'm just in a place right now where I feel like real-time updates. It's just gonna make people worried and I don't wanna do that. I want to, I don't know, I wanna stay positive and I wanna be positive for you guys. and. I know I'm not gonna fake it. I mean, obviously I'm being very real with you right now, but it's just in the moment, I just I just like to feel a little bit better before I jump into that and I just don't have the energy for it. And I know you guys understand, but it's just something that I was thinking about. So I have you on a tripod because my arm is already about to fall off. Let's see if this works. Wow, I learned a new place that I can sit and vlog. I feel like I'm talking really quietly. I'll try to step it up but like I feel the most out of breath when I'm trying to vlog like I guess I just I don't talk like this in my normal life like talking to Grant I'm I guess I just talk slower I don't know okay so the first thing I'm going to show you very briefly is called Sluggo look at this packaging it is so ridiculous it looks like it's from the 70s or the 80s that logo look at that sweet sluggo logo so i've shown on my instagram story i think a couple of times now that i keep noticing little tiny baby snails attacking my cactus babies that i have in the pot that have just exploded and done really really well and they're always blooming and growing so much and they're almost like in need of a repot already at this point which is crazy and i read that these snails can actually do major damage and hurt the cactus by eating it and i feel bad i usually just use my little tweezers and i pick them off and go and put them far away in the grass like across the street i don't know if they would like make it back across the street to get back to the cactus i feel like they wouldn't i feel like that would be a very long journey but I feel like I have to do something a little bit more than that because it's hard for me to look at them like every single day to try to find them. So I did a little bit of research and I saw that this is something that you can do about slugs and snails. Also, it says it's safe for pets and wildlife. Luna never goes around the cactus at all, but 
you know, better safe than sorry. Okay, the next thing, and this is something that I've been looking at today. Five ingredients or less dump meals. <laughs> you guys know I love my slow cooker Sunday meals. Um, and somebody actually commented recommending this recipe book to me because you guys know I really like an easy recipe and I'm always doing super easy recipes and I just appreciate that so much. And a commenter told me to get this book and obviously I did. And I didn't realize it was like an as seen on TV kind of thing. Like it says as seen on TV here. And it's by Kathy Mitchell. And there's a ton of recipes in here. Earlier today, I went through and marked a bunch that I thought might be good. Five ingredients or less. That sounds really good. But at the same time, I think like, does that mean it's not gonna have enough spices? Because I, I don't like bland food at all so it makes me a little bit concerned like i would rather it be like five main ingredients and then like a hundred thousand spices like i don't care tell me a billion to put in i'm happy with it they might need a little dressing up but five ingredients or less sounds really good to me so thank you for that recommendation i'll definitely be making a recipe from there coming up hopefully next weekend the last thing that i wanted to show you guys I don't actually even know what this brand name is, but I told you guys about how when I use my stick vacuum, I get blisters on my pointer finger like every time. If it's not a full blown, you know, puffy blister, it's an almost blister and like the skin will peel off and it's, it's just ridiculous. And it's just the design of the vacuum. And I felt so validated <laughs> by your comments because when I talked about that in the vlog, I felt like such a ridiculous person like that's a ridiculous problem to have like i must be just vacuuming wrong but so many of you said you had the exact same problem and you would like wear a glove or like you'd come up with like all these different fixes or just you were dealing with it getting these blisters from the vacuum and it just made me feel so much better to have actually voiced that issue but one of the comments was about this trigger thing I don't even know what you call it. Power button control clamp, compatible with Dyson V6, 7, 8, 10, and 11. And I, I don't think this is made by Dyson, but it looks like it you know, matches the vacuum. It doesn't look like it's not made by Dyson, which I wouldn't really care if it didn't look like it came with the vacuum. I, mean, I, I don't care what my vacuum looks like at all. So, I wanna try this out. I wanna try to put this on my vacuum and see if it works because if it does, I know there are a lot of you out there that watch my videos um, that need this device also as much as I do. So, I mean, it looks really simple and there were no instructions. So hopefully I can just figure it out or look back at the listing, but let's go do it. I'm definitely not gonna be doing any vacuuming right now but I at least wanna see if this works and if I can recommend it to you guys. Okay, so I conveniently have my vacuum out already as I almost always do. So while we're here, this is actually a perfect angle. Anyone need a little update on the bum? Yeah, not looking any smaller than yesterday, but also I'm not sure if it's looking any bigger, so maybe that's a good sign. Anyway, it's basically completely full. I need to ask Grant to help me empty it because it gives me allergies when I try to do it myself. Okay, it's got this little red lever here that says on and off, and this is supposed to just slip right on this piece here, and then it activates the trigger. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Okay, let me turn it around so you can actually see what's happening here. So the little red lever here is down and it's off the trigger. And all you do is push it up. And then back down when you wanna turn it off. That was so easy and so simple. I am so happy. I don't understand why it doesn't come with the vacuum, you know? All right, I'm really happy about that. Oh, here comes Miss Luna Bean. Oh, I didn't even catch her. She was just coming back down the stairs because I wasn't running the vacuum anymore. I think she evacuated whenever I turned it on. So happy about that, definitely. I'll link it in the description if you are one of the people that is in need. I feel your pain. Okay, now I think I might go sprinkle some of these on my cactus. 
I need to read the directions, I think. And then I'm gonna stop talking because it's making me out of breath. All right, we are definitely still thriving and I feel like I'm not seeing a lot of damage, but I am seeing a lot of snails. So I feel like something needs to be done. Also, the soil looks really dry. So maybe we need a little water first. Okay, that's better. And while I'm at it, I might as well get these guys too. Obviously they're doing well, but I've also seen some snails over here. All right, somehow in all the hubbub of life, we almost forgot to do our Ganarelic shot. And I think this is maybe our second to last day. This is the last one. Oh my gosh, it's our last one. So we've already done five additional days of Ganarelics. Our delay has been five days. I know, it feels like it's been a million days and also two. All right, pop that top off. <laughs> <laughs> He's very professional. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's been many hours. We just had dinner. We kind of pigged out. Well, pigged out for me. I feel like I can't eat as much as I usually can, but we feasted nonetheless. And I've been influenced yet again by TikTok. I feel like garbage right now, like increasingly, increasingly like garbage, but still I have been influenced by TikTok. And right now I'm gonna make a dump cake that I saw on TikTok earlier today when I was just chilling on the couch. I feel like there's just only so much chilling in the bed, chilling on the couch that you can do. And we are gonna watch The Vow, but I wanted to go ahead and get this in the oven. It's super, super easy. It's almost like too good to be true, I think. I don't know, we'll see how it tastes. I probably won't be able to eat very much, but I'll be able to tell you if it's good or not and worth doing or not. It's supposed to taste like cherry cheesecake, but it's not at all cherry cheesecake and it's super easy. So let's do it. Episode of the vow. Ooh, I think it is done. Wow. How's this little tuna bean? Oh, I think she thinks I'm offering her a little cake, and I'm not. I'm sorry, Miss Bean. Mmm. Really good. I felt like that was a mmm, but a question. No, it's good. Was it really hot? I like what the cake mix did. I know. Yeah. It's not as overpoweringly sweet as I expected it to be. Do you love it? I kind of do love it. It's good. I thought it was gonna be... Not so good? No, no, I didn't know. I thought it was gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be more creamy, mm -hmm. but it's mostly cookie and cake mix. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm surprised and impressed. And it was really, really easy to do. Didn't really have to do hardly any prep at all. Just pop it in the oven. And Dump and bake. <laughs> Don't mix it oh or gosh. else. The worst thing about Grant is as I've been trying to recover and like coughing hurts really bad, hiccuping hurts, laughing, especially in the beginning, laughing kills me. And he was making me laugh so hard. Even on that day one when I was feeling absolute lowest worst, he cracked me up at least two times to the point where I like asked him like, what did you say that first time? Mm, and I was just like, don't make me laugh like this. I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I really was gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But this is, this is my new medicine. Obviously we are welcoming carbs full on back into our lives. Arms wide open right now. Oh yeah. We like it. 
All right, it's finally time for bed. I'm feeling awful right now. Not surprised about that. I just need to go to sleep and hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. I just keep waiting to like turn that corner and like really feel like, okay, things are getting better. And I'm sure it's gonna come any minute, any day now. I keep waiting on it. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling a lot of pressure and pain and it's just, I don't know. It's just so much worse at night. And also before I go, I wanna say thank you guys so much for all the comments that you left on the last vlog. And then also all the messages that I've gotten on Instagram. I feel so bad that I can't get back to everyone. I can't even get back to like a portion of everyone, especially in the last few days, but it means a lot to me. And I see you guys and I'm reading your messages and I really, really, really appreciate it. I feel so lucky that you guys are praying for us and thinking about us and eating cookies for us and thinking happy thoughts and everything. It's just, it, <laughs> It never gets old and it encourages me so much when I am feeling really bad like I have been in the past few days. But as usual, I wanna say, please don't worry about me. I will be okay, I'm gonna get better. The only thing I'm thinking about pretty much is our update that is coming on Tuesday. That will be our day six update and that will tell us how many embryos we have that will actually be biopsied and frozen. Um, and that's just that's just a very big day a very big update and we've gotten good news so far but hopefully we get more good news um, I, I feel so lucky and really like this good news that we've gotten has made everything that has happened so far okay and I, I mean it's not okay like thinking back I don't know it's I don't want to get into all of it because I want to go to bed but just like thinking back it's just absolutely horrific everything that happened on Wednesday. And I just, I wasn't even like in the right frame of mind to even realize everything that was happening. Um, but, trying to breathe. Um, I know it's gonna be okay, no matter what. We're gonna be okay. And we're lucky to be in this place and we're lucky to have gotten the news that we've gotten. And I am still confident that I will start to feel better soon. And if not really soon, you know, it will probably happen with my next cycle cause that's what I've heard. Like, you know, that's worst case scenario, but that will absolutely bring relief. You know, this is not forever. It's not good right now, but I will get better. And I don't want to stress you guys out and Right now I wanna say a lot of things, but I'm gonna hold myself back. We'll talk about it again in the next vlog. I will have more news for you guys and I'll let you know how everything's going along the way. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thanks, I love you, bye. Also, I'm whispering because Grant already fell asleep and I'm just sitting here feeling awful, but I'm about to wash my face. Okay, thanks, I love you, bye.